hey you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today i'm going to show you how i did this diy grass wall for my business so if you want to see how i did it just keep on watching So I went to Michael's first to see what I could find in person because it was a lot easier to find things in person and judge if I like them than ordering them and having to return them. I did end up getting two of these leaf garlands. They were on clearance for $5. But as far as the flowers, I ended up getting most of those on Amazon because Michael's can be kind of expensive unless you have a coupon and these were a lot for the amount that I needed so I just ended up getting the garlands here and then um, some of those nude green flowers I'll link those below and this is what the wall looked like before and then I'm just gonna start off by laying out all of the grass And before I brought these in the house and laid them out, um, I did leave them outside laid out for like two or three days just to get rid of that chemical plasticky smell. It was, it was really strong. So I just left it out there to air out. Um, and now I'm just taking out all my letters. I did get these off of Etsy. Again, I will link these down below. I'll link everything that I remember where I got down below. Um, so after I got these off, I'm just laying it out um, just like an idea of how I want everything to go before I actually secure it onto the panels. So I knew I wanted the garland to be the base and also that's going to fill the most space. So I just laid those out first and then those new green leaves, I just cut all of them off of the stem. And then I'm just going to lay those out however I see fit. I got the faux palm leaves off of Facebook Marketplace. And then the yellow flowers that I have in my hand, I was going to put them on the wall. Oh, say hello to my pups. <laughs> she was trying to help me. Um, so yeah, I have those great, those um, yellow flowers that I put on. I also had some other ones, but they were like a little bit too bright. You'll see in a minute. I didn't like how they ended up looking. So I didn't use those. I wanted it to be more um, like of greenery and just a little pop of yellow because my studio, it has just a little bit of yellow. And those are the zip ties that came with the grass panels. Um, and I'm just zip tying the panels together. I should have done this before I started setting everything up, but I did not. So if you decide to make this, then do that first and make it easy on yourself. And while I was adding the zip ties, I was just cutting off the excess um, just so that I wouldn't scratch the wall once I did put it up on the wall. 
Um, these zip ties, they were trash. They were so short and they were not like really hooking in place. So I definitely recommend to buy your own. Um, I ran out anyway, so I did end up having to stop the zip tie portion and then just move on to adhering the flowers with hot glue. Okay, so this is the next day when I finally got more zip ties. This did take me multiple days to do because um, I was trying to do it like in between clients. And then I also have a full time job and I didn't want to have it just out in between clients because it takes up the entire room. Um, but I mean, obviously, if you don't have anything like that going on, you can knock this out in a few hours. It was tedious, but it was definitely worth it. Like as opposed to paying somebody to set this up. And here I'm just measuring the wall to make sure that um, when I apply it to the wall, it is going to be straight and even across the wall. Mm. Now I am just using a heavy duty staple gun and I'm stapling it to the wall. Um, I use like, I want to say two staples per panel. There's nine panels, so like 18 staples is probably in excess. Um, but I didn't want this thing to fall down, especially like while I have a client or something. Um, but now I'm just looking back at it while it is fully secured up there and just adding any additional flowers like in any spots that are sparse. Now I'm just spray painting the letters yellow. I did do one coat of the yellow that I just showed you and then one coat of the gold glitter. You'll see um, in the next clip up close what it looks like. I don't have a photo of the gold, but again, I'll link it if I can find it. And once the letters were fully dry, then I just um, hooked them on to the grass wall with some fishing line. And I used like a hair braiding needle. You can just use a sewing needle like the curved ones. And then I just tied it in a knot and applied it like that. Um, some of the letters are <laughs> crooked, but I fixed that a little bit later. Just have to mess with it. But this is the final look, you guys. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you like it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.